Nobody can touch me because I would get blacklisted for that. <laughs> the persona in the front that we put forward into the universe. <laughs> You'd be standing and- Hi, I'm Gabby. Because I will miss that aspect. Something else, yeah, yeah. You're like, bitch, we're friends. <laughs> don't, don't address me like that. Well, you're people, you're not creatures, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I don't care if you hate me. Tis no, 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 tissue paper. I dated a lot of Sagittarius men, and that just was not working. Those lover boys love her, um, and those connections and ideas change. And if we want to legalize marijuana or not, I don't know. <laughs> Seventy-five percent of podcasts don't make it past the first year. Who's that? Came back. <laughs> Jordan has come on because it did not feel right to tell the story of a place near and dear to our heart without her here. That's true. And in the spirit of travel month, I've just decided because last week I know was she's breaking the wine glass. They're her wine glasses that I bought off of her. So I guess if you break it, uh, I don't know. They're cute though, right? They're super cute. She has different colors. Um, I bought a ton of wine glasses off her. But to get back on track, um, in the spirit of missing last week's episode because of technical difficulties. I've just decided these next last two episodes are going to be very, instead of like travel informative, they're going to be travel silly, travel funny, travel experiences. Um, so I was like, what better than to bring up the Vermont story, which we have talked about on here before, but only given tidbits. Are we doing like all of Vermont, like from the time our plane landed <laughs> yes. until we left? Yes. Okay. I think we got to start at I think the it's beginning. one story, it, not yeah. just the last night. Exactly. Okay. So the episode that I'm having technical difficulties on that hopefully will be fixed by the following week is one that I did with other Jordan yeah. about Paris. And we quite literally went chronologically. It's why it's such a long episode because we went from the very beginning, way longer trip. So this one shouldn't be yeah. as extensive, but it's a two hour episode. That was a wild trip for you guys. It was a wild trip. And this was wild in a completely opposite way for the, for the better, for the greater good. It was it's for the plot. It was, I real. will, like, I think that Vermont trip was like a core memory for me. I will remember that when I'm 80. <laughs> oh, for sure. It was such a great group of women. Yeah. I, so, and I mentioned this in the Paris episode, but I talk about how Vermont was my first trip after Paris and I intentionally planned it to not be like strangers. I knew everybody except for May, who has yeah. been on another trip of mine since. And I absolutely love May. And that was it. We knew everybody else, right? Oh, and Kaylee. I didn't know Kaylee yet. And yeah. Kaylee's now been on multiple of my trips since. So these are now girls that are some of our best friends. Yeah. Like, we absolutely adore them, like, to death. Um, but they were not people that we had spent time with before. So Kaylee and May were the newbies. And they just, they fit their way right in. They had no problems. And Kaylee wasn't even really drinking at this point, And she still had no problems. That's right. Up. I forgot about that. Oh, you should have seen her in um, Savannah. Shout out to my, my girl Kaylee. Damn. She got wild in Savannah. We had a time. She's, like, chasing espresso martinis with protein shakes. She's, like, on her protein God. game. Love her. Um, so let's start from the beginning. We fly into New York City, actually. Yes, for Halloween. Yes. Halloween. Hollow weekend. Hollow weekend. So we decided to do Halloween in the city one night dedicated to dressing up. Yeah. And not everyone was there. It was just a couple of us. We got an Airbnb uh, in Harlem. But it was a nice Airbnb. And we went. It was to the edge of Harlem that's not as bad. Yeah. It's like it's right like, near Central Park. Yeah. Like, um, how long, we were there for two nights, right? We stayed in that Airbnb for two nights, yes. Okay, so the first night wasn't hol the night we dressed up. It was the next night, right? Yes. No. No. No, no we first... dressed up the first yes, night. Yes, we yes, got yes. there, and you're right. Because I'm remembering. Oh, hold on. Okay, it's coming back to me. It's coming back. So, how many of us were there? Six? I believe there was five or six. We decided to be the hangover crew yeah. for Halloween costumes. Were... So, how many of us would that be? You were stew? I was, is Stu the one that's the guy from The Office with the tattoo on his face? Yes. I was yep. Stu. Um, I was Mr. Chow. Yes, Jordan was Mr. Chow. Anais was uh, Zach Galifianakis. <laughs> yeah, what even is his name? Uh, in real life. Well, that's or in name. the show, in the show. Uh, mm, wonderful question. I don't remember. 
Alan. Alan, yes, Alan. So she was Alan. Yeah. We had the baby who actually dressed up as baby. It was a crew. So <laughs> we so we land, we go to this Mexican restaurant for dinner, and then we go back and we decide to start pre-gaming and get dressed. So at this point we look fucking ridiculous. Oh, we, we looked are, great, but like ridiculous. Well we we are not and this will be really shown to you guys next month. Next month is the break month, but you guys all follow us on social media. So you'll be seeing um, in Portugal, we're going to be all real cute and stuff. And then Halloween's going to come around and Jordan and I don't do hot girl costumes. We're just not hot girls. We're not. It's be we're, what you are. Yeah. Be what you are. <laughs> and um, we like to do costumes that are very um, stupid. I don't know. There's Funny. no better- but I would Sometimes they're not even funny. Mm. It's just dumb. But people laugh at us. Oh, for sure, because we're funny to the core. I don't think the costumes necessarily funny. It's just we're funny in them. But like, also <clears throat> the stuff that we do, it's like, who would ever think of that? Exactly. So we we dress up as the Hangover Crew, which I feel like a lot of people have yeah. actually done. But we did take it like that step further. Like Anais had a full fucking beard on, <laughs> like. And Bridget was strapped to Anais at points in the night. Like, I just was... Mr. Chow. She slicked her hair all the way back. Yeah, like, like aggressive side part over here. A swoop you all did... over my forehead. You didn't start the night with it, but at some point during the night, you put, like, fake white powder on your face to make it look like cocaine. Listen, you remember that? I don't remember that. At one point, she asked the bartender if he had powdered sugar, and he looked at her like she was fucking batshit. Do you not remember that? No. Anais and I were talking about this the other day. <laughs> I was dying. <laughs> I was like, what a weird question to ask. Like, of course a bartender doesn't have powdered sugar. You know, maybe they do. They, they were like, maybe for the drinks. And I was like, no. But she ended up somehow, and I promise it was not real drugs, but she did end up with a smear <laughs> on her face. Um, I had a full face tattoo, which took forever to scrub off. Oh my and God, I yeah. put black on my tooth, which I'm surprised at how long that lasted. It was just mascara. Yeah. Mascara works. Waterproof. Waterproof <laughs> mascara. <laughs> um, so we go to this haunted house that we spent, what, like $60, $70 on? And it was so bad. But we get to the end, and we go into, like, this room where you get, like, a blood pouch drink. Well, so at the and beginning, a- you get the syringe. Oh, so, like, it's a jello shot syringe. But it's sketchy was- as fuck. They don't yeah. even tell you what's in the syringe. Also, it didn't taste like a lot of alcohol. It was very, very weak. He was like, here, you have to take this before you enter. And we're like... Okay. Like, are we going to be like, high? in a sketchy drunk, New York City basement? Also, that maze only lasted for five minutes. Yeah, we went through, like, what, three rooms? Yep, and then we were in the last room, and they were doing the blood bad drinks. And there was a snake. Yep, there was a full live snake, and I was like, I right, this was stupid. It was, it was really stupid. So then, after that, we went to a couple bars. Yeah, right? we hit the bars. Yeah. We had fun with that. That was fun. Oh, and then we met up with uh, Jordan and her friends. At that one bar, I don't even where they that. dressed up as uh, something. Yeah, that was like the last bar we went to. It was pretty late. I was lights on, no one's home at that point. Probably. And then we stopped at a store. We stopped at a store that sells things that makes you feel relaxed. <laughs> so May, <laughs> cutest little bean that ever did walk the face here, she looks at me. She's like, "Do you want to split some gummies?" I said, "Sure." I, as we know, I don't think we've talked about this on the internet yet, but I don't do well with drugs. I like drinking. I'm just not a, she's not a drug girly. She just can't do it. Um, and you know, I said, okay, May, like, let's do it. Split with her. Unwell. Just full unwell. Wait, so before we even do that stuff, we attempt to get pizza. Yes. We wait in this line, and I really wanted this pizza because it was a good pizza place. About halfway through, they're like, we don't, we don't want to wait anymore. Let's get an Uber. So we get an Uber. We order. Let's not forget, too, Mia's with us, which Mia's my little British intern. We talked about her a lot. She There's this video, because we were looking at it the other day when we were in Fort Lauderdale. We were going through all the New York yeah. videos. And there's this video of Mia and this guy trying with to, like, fake phone. interview her. Yes. And she's like, I just want my fucking pizza in her little British accent. She's Welsh, but, you know, her little Welsh accent. Yes. She, I just want my fucking pizza. And <laughs> That's not <laughs> That was Cockney of me. No. <laughs> so, long story short, we don't get pizza. We get an Uber. And we order food. I don't know if it's Uber. Uber Eats. Yeah. 
Um, so we're upstairs. Anais has the phone where the Uber Eats is being delivered. Everyone orders food. I actually didn't order food. But Anais goes downstairs because he's close and he's on a bike. So I go downstairs with Anais. And I'll put this on the internet because I really don't care. We smoked a pre-roll, but it wasn't just a normal pre-roll. It was uh, rolled in keef. And then around the keef was wax, like uh, spiraled on it. So it was already really aggressive to begin with. And I'm sitting there. We're in deep conversation. All of a sudden, I'm like, fuck. I need to, like, lay in a bed. New York stuff hits different. And... I remember she said that the guy broke down and he had to walk the food to us. And at this point, Mia comes outside. And I'm like, hey, Mia, can you sit out here with Anangis? I have to go to the bathroom, knowing damn well I'm not going back outside. <laughs> so I go upstairs. I lay in the bed. Everyone else in the living room. And I am just like, I'm gone. Like, I am scared. I just want to be home, maybe with a popsicle. I don't even know. Maybe with a popsicle. And so we're sitting there. 20 minutes later... They come up with the food, and Mia's like, you never came back down. And I'm like, no, I didn't. No, of course not. And so they're all going through the food. Gabby didn't get her food. Okay, so I this is where I can pick up. I had ordered, like, french fries and chicken, whatever. It they, they just left it out. They charged us for it. I think she got a reimbursement. Not a big deal. In hindsight, I was not well, and I am losing it. I'm just like, this is fucking bullshit. It's 5 a.m. Like, it's late, late. And I'm losing my mind, and everybody keeps trying to offer me their french fries, and I'm like, I don't want any of this bullshit food. And like, then, of course, I'm like picking up the french fries later. Yeah. Just losing my mind. So then Jordan and I are sharing a room. We go into our bed, and we want to watch TV. I don't know why everybody just decided they were going to be a part of this. Well, it has a fucking Roku. Who in the world has a Roku? I don't know. It's 2020, at 2022. Get a smart TV. We don't need a Roku anymore. So, we're trying to turn the TV on. We can't figure it out. Mia's trying to turn it on for us. May convinced me to take her extra. So, I did. At 4 a.m., which was just such a mistake. Yes. And then you tried to force feed me one. And I was like... Because I didn't... I knew... My body knew that this was a bad choice. And I was like, I don't want it. Like, I'm not having it. She's like, fine. And eats it herself. And I'm like... Your sis is nothing but not wasteful. We do not waste in this house. So, you're like three in. And... I'm sitting in bed, like, curled up like this. And I'm also, She's next like... to me. And everyone is just in the room staring at us. And our bed is, like, <laughs> on the freaking ground. So I'm just like, what does everyone want? And they're all just, like, laughing. <laughs> I felt like I was, like, in a circle. The like, zoo animal. And everyone was just like, ha, 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 like, pointing at me. <laughs> That's literally what I felt like. Finally, uh, I don't really remember anything else. We go to bed. <laughs> we yeah. go to bed. We wake up the next morning. And because I took the last one at four, I'm in the peak of my eye. So I look at Jordan, I'm like, I can't breathe. I need to drink some water, but I can't. So she's trying to force me to drink water. Like, she's, like, trying to feed me. And I'm like, <laughs> and it's like, throw it This is why I don't do this stuff. And I I won't anymore. <laughs> but, um, so that yeah, continued. You were down bad. I was down bad. The girls that did not go out for Halloween or were not there for that day, they showed up that day, and they wanted to explore, and I was like, have a good time. Yeah. I'm not going. I've been to New York a billion times. I have full confidence they knew what they were doing. They went, they walked around, they explored, yeah, we, we went, went to dinner. To, we went to Central Park. We did a bunch of stuff. Um, and yeah. also, you're from New York, like, you knew how to get people around, like, I wasn't worried about it. Yeah, we just walked in an Uber because it was it was hot, yeah. um, which is so weird for you know October. And then we did go to dinner. You were still on like the first time you got out of bed was to get ready for dinner. I got ready for dinner and I fell asleep at dinner, like at the dinner table. On a yeast, it's like a new thing. I don't. I promise, like I'm not like messing up on all my trips but every trip that Anais has been on she has a picture of me sleeping even this last one in Fort Lauderdale I took a nap in the sun just because I wanted to worst picture I'll have to show you video of you sleeping at dinner I mean yeah I think every day was great I just I can't help myself and then that night we didn't really do much after dinner we just kind of went back and slept it was a chill night because the next morning we had to get up really early to catch a train a like a nine hour train so halloween correct me if i'm wrong it was on a weekday so we went up on a weekday 
You can check 2020 for me. Just let me know. But I'm pretty sure we went up on a weekday. So we had framed the train at, like, the train was, like, seven or eight hours. But the plan was, is most of us needed to work. It was a Monday. It was a Monday. So Tuesday, we were spending the whole day working on the train. Like, that was the plan. Which everybody kind of actually, I heard only but good things about that idea. Because all of us that stayed in the quiet car, we did work all day. And then everybody that was in the back car, it was Anais and May and Kaylee, I think. They got fucked up. They just got real drunk on the train. And I was talking to May and Anais about it the other day. And they were like, it was the best time. We had the best time. And I was like, <laughs> good. Good for you. <laughs> but we were on the quiet car working. And then we get there. And we get there and it's dark. Yes. We we got there late because if you've ever been on a train, we didn't get on the one that's nonstop. It makes all the stops. And we got delayed. So we got there pretty late. Um, and if you've ever been to Stowe, Vermont, the population is like 600. Just a pause for you to really. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm so... It's this for me. Why? <laughs> Why would you do that? Anais captures one sleeping picture of me on every trip. That's hilarious. I'm like, and I was just sunning. I was just having a sun moment. No alcohol whatsoever. Just sleeping. Yeah. Um, she also has one for me in Savannah. Sleep at brunch. I just really thrive you just really need your sleep i just am a sleepy girl um so anyways we get to vermont it's dark out and this is where so this trip like i said this is coming off of paris and i didn't really plan much of it because it was all of my girlfriends so i was just you know like yeah we could just show up i know these girls are going to like rock with me on whatever i didn't put a lot of effort into it it's not like my other trips where it's like to a T, hey, we're doing this at 10, we're doing this, this, this. Very different than, like, a lot of my, like, my Savannah one or Puerto Rico one. Yeah. Just different. Um, but so I hadn't done a ton of research. I had been to Stowe, Vermont in the fall before, but earlier fall. I also went to college there. So she knew more than I did, <laughs> honestly. And I'm almost mad that she didn't give me a heads up on any of this, because you should have known. Well... In my defense, like, my school was really small. We never had to Uber anywhere because we could walk every day. That's fair. And you were not, and you're not in Stowe, right? No, we were, we were outside of Stowe in an even smaller town. Um, So we could literally walk everywhere. And if we went somewhere, it was about a 30 minute drive and someone was driving. Gotcha. I never Ubered. So in hindsight, like, I didn't do my research in the fact that there's like a window between like the summer season and the winter season. And we were there before technically, like the, or sorry, not the summer, but the fall season. Yeah. It was end of fall peak season and not yet winter season for like the skiers and the Christmas goers. Yeah. Cause we're there the first week of November. So the leaves have kind of already fallen for the most part. There was still some on the trees, but not much. And, um, they're in their off season. It's counted as an off season. So yes, they have tons of Ubers there if you go during season, but not if you don't. So we get there and we're all trying to call an Uber and we're in the dark at this train station. And we're like, fuck, like, there's no Uber. So then I'm, like, trying to, like, find taxi companies and stuff like that. So we found this laundromat that they were literally closing at that moment. And you remember that girl let us in? She's like, we'll sit in here, guys. Like, you can stay as long as you want. So we're in the laundromat. We're fucking around in the laundromat. We're sober. Like, we're just... We had a photo shoot. We had a laundromat photo shoot while we were waiting for taxis. So um, we finally found a taxi. One of the girls that was with us, she took charge of the taxi situation. And I need to know, while this is happening... Anais goes, I gotta take a phone call outside. I didn't know Anais well at this point. And I'm like, I'm just gonna follow her outside because it's like a little bit chaotic in here. Like half the girls are like nervous. Gabby's like, what do I do? Some of the other girls are climbing on top of the washing machine. It's like fucking Lord of the Flies. (laughs) And I'm like, I'm like, I need to go outside and like breathe fresh air and see if maybe I can get a rental car. Because at this point, I knew, I still knew a lot of people at Enterprise. Um... So I go outside. She's talking on the phone to Jail Bay. <laughs> to Jail Bay. She, the, oh, well, actually, they'll all know Jail Bay because it was in her episode. Yeah. If you didn't watch Anais's episodes, what was the title? It was like Daughter of a Drug Lord or something like that. Daughter of a Scam Artist. Daughter of a Scam Artist. Yeah, part one and part two. <laughs> we talked about Jail Bay there. Um, Did, yeah. Yeah. So I'm just sitting there while she's on this phone call with a girl in jail. And I'm like, what is going on? <laughs> So we're in the laundromat. We finally get a taxi. We squeeze everybody. It's a larger car for that yeah, one. Yeah, it's uh, a but we have luggage. Row, three row SUV, and some of us brought not even carry ons, like full size. Some of the girls don't know how to pack. Full some of you size suitcases. 
Um, so it was Wild. really rough. We had to sit on top of each other's laps in the back, and uh, the driver was not that happy <laughs> at no. all. And how much was it? It was really expensive. Oh, it was so expensive. But I mean, split between all of us, I think it was like five, six dollars each. But we didn't go far. That's what pissed us off. Yeah, we went. What? It was the fact that in all of these taxi rides that we were taking until the legendary man that comes into our lives, until that point, we were taking taxis and we'd go five minutes on the road and they'd be like, $45. And yeah, when you're splitting they'd with everybody, be like, they'd be like, whatever. Twenty dollars And we're like, what? We're like, you took us five minutes, but now it makes sense because they're in their off season. They're not making money. So this was their way of making money. And they know that we're going to pay it. We have to pay because what's the alternative? Walking. Which we did walk. We did walk. At some points. So we get in that taxi. We get to Edson Hill. It's already dark. It's quiet. We get in. We're the only people on property. Gorgeous. Oh, it's it's gorgeous. I mean, Edson Hill is... The reason I I booked it was I went... When I was living in a van, I went with Kyle once. And then we went... No, I just went the once. Yeah, I went with Kyle. It was actually summertime, so it was really pretty then. And I had always wanted to go back for fall. So, like, I wanted a redemption trip from Paris. And I was like, you know what? All my girlfriends in a place that I want to go again. So, I'm kind of familiar. But, like, it's something I want to do. Let's do it. That's why I didn't put a lot of planning into it. Whereas my other trips, I do a lot of research. I do a lot of, like, Instagram stalking, stuff like that. I just didn't do that for this trip. Because I was like, this should be easy. I know the area. And it's girls I know. Mistake. (laughs) Mistake. But... Just like you'll hear in the Paris episode, I make a lot of mistakes. I am a human being, but I feel like I'm but finally... We, we got there. That's all that really matters. And we had so much fun. Like, through the mistakes, we had fun. I'm like Paris. But through the mistakes, we had fun. I feel like I finally found my groove when it comes to travel and girls' trips. Like, I, I've nailed it down now. We don't have hiccups anymore. And if we do, they're very minor. But Vermont was still in my test period. Paris was my first out of the country, minus Tulum. So, like, it was a big test period. But, um... I, the girls made that trip for sure. It was not necessarily what we were doing or the experience. It was the girls yeah. for sure. And so we get up there, we check into our rooms. We have two rooms side by side in this beautiful, like little, like little Northeastern houses. Like they're just, yeah. I love the Northeastern styled homes. I think they're so pretty. Um, and we're four in a room, split up, go to bed. Uh, the next morning we woke up, we explored the city. We bounced around like I don't know. We went up, we went to the, what's it called? The Von Trapp house. Yeah. Explored that. Most of the leaves were gone, but like we still had some pretty moments. Yeah. We, we did a lot and they do a, I want to say a continental breakfast because it comes with your stay, but it is not a normal hotel continental breakfast. It's amazing. So the good. service is amazing. The view in there is just amazing. What was our server's name? Oh, it started with R, like Randall or something. You know, someone posted a photo. Well, so it's in the photo, the name of him. Okay, because he quite literally, um, he was like, so he was our server every morning. Loved him. Like, Edson Hill, shout out, give that man a raise. He would, like, help us pick our Instagram pa- captions for the day. Like, he was helping us post our pictures. Like, he cracked me up. But he was fantastic. Are you looking for it? Just to see if you can find it. I'm... Uh, <laughs> yeah. Well, maybe Jordan can find it. But so basically, Edson Hill is fantastic. I think if I were ever to go back, I would want to go back in peak season of fall. And I would just want to stay at Edson Hill. I wouldn't want to go anywhere or leave. I would just, like, want a relaxing weekend at Edson Hill. Because it's just really serene. So, we go around. have um, that speakeasy that we went in that one night. I love that. That was, yeah. Yeah, that was A little really downstairs cool. bar. Yeah. Um, We did that. I think that was the last night, right? Before our, our last, dinner. Our last dinner, yeah. Because we did dinner there one night as well, which was fantastic as well. So good. Like, the food was so good. Um, I feel like we got a lot of good attention from them, too, since they weren't in peak season. I think they appreciated us being there. Yeah. Even the guy at check-in cracked me up. Yeah. I, I can't remember his name, but Kelsey says his name in a video when she's saying that he'll make us nachos. And we're like, no, no, he won't. It'll come to Yes. Me. Maybe I can find the video. Yes, but yes, yes. That, so, like... We just had them eating out of the palm of our hands. We were just the stars of Stowe, Vermont. Mm-hmm. Well, lo and behold, we have now officially made a name for ourselves. There is a Facebook group out there somewhere in Stowe, Vermont, and they were calling us The Eight. <laughs> and we found this out because we went into one store while we were shopping around. She's like, oh, you're The Eight. <laughs> and we went, what? Because there's eight of us. And she's like, yeah, yeah. Like, everybody's been talking 
like, we have, like, a little group chat going about you guys. Like, you guys have made a name for yourself here. And I'm like, what? And it's because no one was there. Yeah, but also, like, like eight, eight girls just bouncing around. Hard to miss. <laughs> boop, 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 just bouncing around. But basically... Like, we made such an impact, and, like, they were so slow that the cider company was closed for the season, and I was able to reach out to them and ask if they would open, and they're like, we'll open for three hours for you. So we took those three hours, and we made do. This was our last day there yes. with cider, and that's where that's where we got a little tipsy. And Before we get into that story, is there anything else noteworthy that we did? The massage at the spa? Oh, yes. That was hands. We went to Top Notch best massage I've ever had. Really? Oh, a thousand percent. I got I enjoyed it. a full body one. I'm telling you, this man has probably seen my asshole. Like, that's how deep he was getting in there. And I, at one point, I was like, oh my god, he's probably looking at it right now. <laughs> I don't know how you relax when you're thinking about that. It was just, I, I want to go back just to get a massage by him. See, I had a woman, she did good. Um, I really enjoyed more so, like, the spa area and, like, being able to be in the sauna and then, yeah. like, the hot tubs and, like, they had a really pretty indoor, like, hot tub that, like, faced the view of the mountains that was really gorgeous. Their outside pool was really nice, too. Yeah. Everything was really beautiful. So we did the spa and then that's when we came home. We got ready and then we went to the cider, cider place. And at this point, we have met Joe. So Joe is a, I don't even want to call him a taxi driver because I think that that man's just a man with God. Almost an angel on earth. <laughs> Joe is just a man on a car that seized an opportunity. He also drives a Honda CRV, but like the older one with the hat, I think it's called the hatchback, right? Yeah. Yeah. And there's eight of us. And he started out early on in the beginning being like, okay, I'll take, because like they were short trips. He was like, I'll take four and I'll take four. So we were doing a lot of that. So like, I think he picked us up and then he took us to the cider place. He took the other half to the cider yeah. place. So we get to the cider place. And we have three hours to drink. And boy, did we monopolize on that opportunity. Mm -hmm. Hard. Mm -hmm. Hard. And I, and I say this a lot, like we were talking about it with the Savannah girlies, um, the Savannah group, we had a night out that like, I've never experienced anything like everybody being on the same page. Everybody was the same level of drunk. Everybody was the same level of happy. There was no, like, one person wanted to go home and one didn't. Like, That's Savannah so was... so strange. It was the best experience I've ever had going out with women in my life. That's and this was women crazy. I didn't know. Better than, like, any friend experience I've ever had. Wild. I've never experienced everyone being on the same exact level. So, like, you can ask Kaylee, you can ask all of them, those girls, Jen, all of them. Where'd you go? That was the thing. It was not on the agenda. We went to these two bars that I had planned, Alley Cat and something else. And then we were walking by and we all saw this bar and we were like, fuck it. We got to go in. We go in. There's nobody in there. We started the party. By the time we left, that bar was popping. We had the DJ wrapped around our finger. We were up on the DJ booth. We were telling him to play whatever songs we wanted. We were like the stars of that show. It, we've never thrived like that. The video's hilarious. The time, hilarious. We just had so much fun. I've never had an experience like that. But this night in Vermont is a close second. The only <laughs> difference is, like, Kaylee wasn't drinking. Mia wasn't. We were all on different levels. We were on different levels, but it was such a good night. Yeah, it was. So that's. Was, but that's the comparison that I feel like Savannah was. Everybody was on the same level. And it was an incredible night. And this was one of those where it didn't matter that we were all off levels. It still, we all had a good night. Yeah. Like nobody had a bad night that no, night. No, I don't think anyone had a bad experience either. No, no, not at all. Maybe so, the bartenders, but. Well, <laughs> I don't know. Maybe the the one girl that her and her relationship was falling apart. Maybe that night wasn't Well, great yeah. Her. Well, okay. But like, yeah. Sorry. There, I have been Some, people, right some now. people had bad nights. Not all of us. Some had bad nights. Um, But. I still think that we all had fun together. Like, no matter what was going on in our outside lives, we were able to have fun together that night. So that's, like, kind of my closest equivalent to Savannah. But basically, we start the cider company, we get really drunk, and we decide we can walk to the I, So place. here's the thing. is I don't think any of us were drunk at that point. I think we were just, like, tipsy. tipsy. Yeah. yeah. But, like, feeling good. Because we, we did the tasting, and then we're like, all right, let's get a couple glasses of cider. Yeah. And cider... I don't care what anyone says. Cider fucks you up. I just, and I don't normally do beer or ciders or anything because of gluten, but like I had some ciders that day. I don't, I don't think a lot of ciders have gluten in them. 
maybe the, maybe that's it. I yeah. don't know. But I know like beer, you know, I won't do it all. Yeah. Cider, like if I'm at a brewery, I'll get a cider. But even then it's like the carbonation. Like, I don't know. Yeah, I try I not to do too much of it. Carbonation. Um, gluten, carbonation, all the fun stuff that everybody loves and drinks. Yeah. So after cider, we were like, let's not do a dinner. Let's go to this place that also has food, but it's a bar that Joe told, told us to go to. Yes. And he said we could walk. I'm like, at this point, Joe's, like, not trying to, like, he's getting a lot of money out of us, but he's yeah. pro- he's protecting us from the taxi um, vultures. He's like, no, 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 they're going to charge you too much. Like, I'll come get you guys. You should go here. You can walk yeah. here. You don't need to drive. He's our, like, he's, like, our older brother at this point. So we're doing that. We walk over, and this bar is inside a gas station. Well, it's, in a, it's an abandoned gas station. Yes. That they converted to a bar. But does the gas not work? No. Oh, I thought the gas worked. Anyways, we get to the so. abandoned bar, and it turns out that bar is one that was on Winter House a couple weeks later. I mean, if you watch Winter House, we went to all the same places they did. Which um, I didn't plan because I don't watch Winter House. Also, there's like 10 places to go. Yeah, there's so, a lot to so. do. Don't go to Stowe if you want to do things. Go to Stowe if you want relaxation and like a top notch experience. Literally, get yeah, a top notch. Yeah. Okay. Because that's the spot we went to. Top match. <laughs> so funny. <laughs> so funny. Um, so we did that. Um, we get to the bar and I got food. I got I got, food. A, I got a quesadilla. As soon as we walked in the bar, I was like, I want that quesadilla. So we got food. They were doing like a bingo or a trivia night. No, none of us were playing. No, we Even all else. sat at the bar. Yeah, we sat at the bar. Um, Kaylee was wearing a shirt that said, my dad is your cardio. <laughs> and I know that like the bouncer kept calling her or not the bouncer, the guy doing the Foxy. No, not Foxy. <laughs> <laughs> the guy that was reading off the trivia kept like calling her out for it. Oh, and, like was starting some shit. And then <laughs> I need to like, we need to preference this. When we walked into the bar, we walked in like straight and narrow. They're like, oh, these girls are here for a couple of drinks. Like we could walk. We shut the bar down. Well, we, I did not have a single drink. I had only shots. I have the receipt to prove that I had 13 shots that night. Of Reposado. Yes. Yep. Of Reposado. Mm-hmm. So the bartender, was his name actually Foxy or did you guys just nickname him? Oh, we just called him Foxy because he was Foxy. <laughs> And he had a, just a, his older man. a full head of gray hair. Yeah. Well, um, Kaylee was really fucking around with him with her. Oh, it was my so dad's funny. your cardio shirt. But me and the girl who was unwell uh, were like, let's take some shots. So we, I think the three of us and Anais, we all took two shots to start with. And then all of a sudden, this is where I kind of brown out a little bit. I remember eating, and then I remember being in the bathroom with you. I Okay, so here's the thing. This is, I take all of it back. I can't compare this to Savannah because the difference is, is we had fun and it's a hilarious memory, but after a couple of those shots, we had a heart-to-heart and we're crying. We were crying. We were crying outside. I was on the phone with my best friend, but at this time we were like, I was so mad at her, and I was like, yelling at her over the phone and then I just hung up on her and then we're calling her husband and then we're just crying and some then more and then we have the other girl who's like her relationship is over she's crying she, at gets, bar. Her, she gets her receipt and she starts bawling she bawls <laughs> even more because her receipt is like two hundred dollars and my, then, mine was I think 126 that bar made money off of us until they cut me off and then they did cut that well who put their head on the bar that was the problem somebody put their head on the bar and they're like sorry you're done because you can't put your head on the bar. That means you're you're I don't you're asleep. know. But then Anais didn't get cut off, which is surprising to me. But she got another shot and I was like, oops, and I stole her shot. <laughs> so we're still doing shots. We're messing around and making a fool of ourselves. Only shots. They cut us off, which I've never been cut off at a bar before. That is a first experience for me. Really? Never been cut off. Because even when I'm really, really drunk, I can make myself not look drunk if I need to. So, like, never been cut off. They cut us off. And then somebody was like, it's time to call Joe. So we call Joe. Remember, Honda Civic. <laughs> whoop, whoop. Rolling up. We literally, there's too many of us. Like, we should not be doing this, but whatever. We're waiting for Joe outside because we kind of got, we didn't get kicked out. But, like, we decided to go wait outside. Yeah. And um, Jordan decides to do a whole photo shoot with the gas nozzle. You want to talk about that? 
listen, if I remembered it, I would tell you guys all about it, but the only memories I have are the photos and the videos. Which are iconic, and we're still <laughs> waiting for the day for you to launch those. One day that day will come. Anyways, so she is doing a little photo shoot with gas nozzle. I have to cut that off because I have some semblance of safety left, and I just it was going towards your mouth, and I was getting a little <laughs> nervous. So we cut her off from that. One of the girls is yelling about she's not going to jail for us. Yeah. It just got real chaotic. There were the volume yeah. level was so loud. Everybody was just so, so loud. Like, like screaming at each other. But like not at each other, but just like screaming. Like, and then they're no just one like, was mad at each other. We were just talking on a volume like this. And then two girls were like dying laughing in the background. May and Mia are like, what the fuck is going on? I'm telling you, Lord of the Flies. Lord of the Flies. <laughs> So we get into the taxi. This is probably my favorite story, honestly. We get to the taxi, and we're all just chatting with Joe. His name is Joe. He's like this Jersey boy kind of vibe. Yeah. like. And one of the girls, her dad's Italian. I wouldn't say she's Italian. Like, just her dad's Italian. Well, if your, dad's a, if your parents are Italian, you're Italian. She's American. I'm American. That's American. how that works. No, we're American. That, that's how that works. American. Like, why doesn't America have a nationality? That Like, why does nobody go, I'm an American? They go, People I'm do. Italian. People do say they're American. You're American. I never said I was Italian, but she's definitely Italian. That's how that works. That's like, I don't run around and like tell people, like, if I were meeting somebody in a different country, I wouldn't be like, oh, I'm Russian. I wouldn't. I'd say I'm American. Well, you're from America. Yes. She's American. She's Italian. We're all American. She's Italian. Everybody in this car is American. So we're American. Um, but all of a sudden, okay, you know what? You're right. She's Italian. What I have a problem with is she doesn't have an Italian accent. You don't have to at all. You don't have to have an accent to be Italian. You're missing the point. Oh, because Because she now develops an Italian accent. That's my beef. It's not that she's Italian. I don't care that she's Italian. I don't care. I'm Cuban. You're you're black. I don't know. Don't care. Um, It's that she all of a sudden goes from American girl from Florida to an Italian accent. That well, she does not have. She's trash. <laughs> she's trash. So we are. She hears. It's like she. It's like word association. Like she heard Joe's accent. All of a sudden, she gets an accent. Yeah. She's like Joe. Where we go? What we doing? That's and like, I'm like, who are you? <laughs> she. I would. Oh man, we gotta enter the video because it's so funny. We can't. Not without her permission. We can't do that. But I will say. So she. She goes on. I guess we could. No, we can't. You can do the audio though. <laughs> <laughs> but basically. She goes on, she's talking to the taxi driver, and what I really love the most is Anais filmed this whole night like a documentary. Like, we have a video from every piece of this night, which I never would have, because Jordan really don't take videos when we're drunk. I we just, do, but when I'm at that level drunk, I'm, no. My I, phone's no I don't know where, I woke up, I didn't know where my phone was. That's fair. I, I It was there. We found it, but, <laughs> but, no, I don't, personally, when I'm drunk, I forget about my phone. So, I don't film. I'm I forget. Su- I'm such a, oh my god, look at you're doing stupid shit right now. I'm going to show you this. But then once 30. you start your stupid shit, you don't do no. it. No. So, none of us are filming. Ani's filmed this full-on documentary Yeah, she style. films everything. This like, is documentary stuff. Like, and so she's filming this, but she's filming the car driving. So, you just see, like, Black Road. And then you hear the girl and him talking and going back and forth. And... She's all of a sudden developed a very thick Italian accent. And she's like, we'll talk to my father. Like, we're four of us in this car are unengaged. And he goes, you're engaged? And she goes, not anymore. What you doing about it? What is this accent that you're doing? That's what, that's what her accent sounded like to me. <laughs> that's what it sounded like. I'm not meant to do accents. <laughs> you know I'm not meant to do accents. So she's got this weird accent going on. Um, he's talking back with her with his normal voice, which has an accent. Yeah. So, like, the whole dialogue is just fucking hilarious. And then she's like, we'll get my dad in on it. <laughs> like, what? Why? What? Are you... <laughs> I don't so... even know what you're doing right now. <laughs> I'm trying to do the accent. I can't do the accent. 
So we're going back and forth. She's going back and forth with him. And then Joe goes, you can't handle what I got. Anais loses her ever living mind. And she's like, oh, Joe says he got the balls. And we're like, what? Fucking like, losing she it. She kept doing that for like a solid minute too. Yeah. Yeah. For like two minutes, Anais was like, ooh. He ain't got no balls. Which doesn't even make sense because I think in this case scenario it would be he's saying he's got too much balls for her. But like He's yeah, saying like he has his jet skis, a boat. Yeah, he's talking about his jet skis and a boat. And she's like, This Edson Hill isn't doing it for me, Joe. Oh, uh, so you're getting a little better. <laughs> Not quite there. I just said love an action. <laughs> Um, her accent died the minute we got back into the apartment, <laughs> to the hotel, because uh, we have more videos from Ana East. Did you notice the accent's completely gone five minutes after we get out of the car? <laughs> That's wild. It's like when I'm around people from the South, I automatically start speaking with a Southern accent. Give me your best Southern accent. No. I, well, I have to hear someone from the South talk. Otherwise, I can't do it. Well, sweetheart. No, I can't. <laughs> I can't. I need something to say, and then I can give you a southern accent. Give me something to say. I just don't trust your accent abilities after the Italian one. <laughs> well, I can't do Italian or British, but I can do southern. Mainly because my friend Carol, she and I do southern back and forth. It only, it's like gut reaction. Anytime we're in person together, I'm instantly like doing a southern accent with her. It's really actually That's good. funny. I have a friend that when I see her, we sing everything. <laughs> I need a demonstration. Like... Do you want some ravioli? (laughs) I don't want your ravioli. Um, We get to the hotel room and chaos breaks loose. I'm so glad no one was, like, attached to our house. Well, Jordan falls outside the hotel room, and we had to, like, get her up and pick her up and bring her to the house. Then she um, doesn't want to get in bed. She's cackling on the bed like a fucking psychopath. Um, We're trying to, like, she's, like, take my shoes and socks off. We're trying to disrobe her. And the little girl that had, little girl, because she's small. She's a small girl. um, That had the fake Italian accent. She's standing over Jordan, trying to unzip her pants and help her disrobe. Ice is on the floor next to us. Filming it, and then yelling about how that the guy at Edson Hill will make us nachos. Yeah. And we're like, he's asleep. Where is he even going to get nachos? And she's like, no, 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 he'll make the nachos. And we're like, what delusion lands are we living in? Um, But then, yeah, everybody went to bed. And then I woke up early in a panic, and I know... You people who brown and black out know exactly what I'm talking about. And you're like, <gasps> and I look at uh, a girl who I was sleeping with. And I'm like, does everyone hate me? And she's like, no, shut up. Go back to bed. And I'm like, where's my phone? So losing it. So finally, once we all start to like get up, I turn the lights on. Our bed started in almost the middle of the room. It's pushed against the wall. Like it is far, probably like five feet from where it started. The rugs, because we had a couple rugs, they're all flipped, either upside down or covered in dirt. (laughs) I'm covered in dirt. (laughs) Uh, My phone is, like, underneath the nightstand somewhere. Like, it was a hot mess in that hotel room. The best part is we left Joe, and he was ready to come back tomorrow morning to pick us up to go to the airport. And he was going to do us in, like, doubles because of our baggage. So... The little Italian girl, she's got a, this is actually, I think this is one of, you know how like there's red flags, green flags, and beige flags? This is a beige flag of hers that I actually kind of find adorable. I just think it's the cutest thing. She can't, like, she has to be like five hours early to the airport. Yeah, I remember that. Like, she was like, I want to be on that first, like, car ride. I'm getting it. So she got there like five hours. (laughs) Yeah, me and her were on the same flight. (laughs) We got there at the same time. Well, she got there. She was doing whatever, and I was like, this is a tiny airport. You could literally show up 30 minutes before your flight. And, like, she insisted. She's like, no. So she left in the first car ride. I think there was only two or three of them in the first car ride. And it's because two of them were leaving early, and yeah. she just wanted to go with them. So she went off with them. Um, we decided we were going to go later, and then also he dropped us off when we got brunch. Yeah, we went to Burlington. Yes. We got, like, a brunchy lunch. I threw up in an alleyway. You, projectile. You and... Uh, What's her face? Threw up. 
Starts with a B. Oh, Bridget. Yeah. yeah. Bridget. Yeah, Bridget and I threw up. Like throwing up on each other's throw up. I forgot that Bridget threw up with me, but I, yeah, I threw up. <laughs> Projectile. It wasn't even the drinking. It was the combination, but I get really car sick and I sat in the back seat and I regret, I regret that. Cause like I got really, it's not a quick drive and it's kind of through the mountains. So like, yeah, I got really sick. So projectile vomited. She threw up as well. We got brunch. We got to the airport. We got on our plane. We were fine. That is the end of Vermont. I got off that plane. It's like, I need a nap. I honestly went into a hole for like four days and didn't talk to anybody. I was like, I've got to reflect on some of this. (laughs) Gonna really figure out what's going on here. Do you ever have one of those hangovers where it's like, should I go to rehab or should I move back home with my mom? No, because I'm not an alcoholic. I just like to have fun every now and then. I think that the only people that should think that way are the people that have to drink every night to function. You've never had a hangover that's like extremely terrible. Like you physically cannot get out of bed. Yes, but I don't think about moving home for that or going to rehab. I think, wow. I should not mix things again. I had that bad of a hangover in Savannah. Oh, no. I'm like, I want a hot dog, a slice of pizza, a McDonald's DC, and probably to live in my mom's basement. That is really bold. And then, like, the next day, I'm like, okay, I'm fine. I get it. It's not good now. But that's the Vermont story. You got any other commentary, takeaways? What was your biggest, like, life lesson out of that one? Life lesson? Yeah. Do you have a life lesson? Yeah. Uh, well, no. I think I realized well, no. that I I don't mind sharing a room on vacation, but I don't like sharing a bed on vacation. Okay. That's what I think that was big for me. Sometimes that's really hard for me to avoid with girls' trips. I don't want to set an, like yeah. a precedent or expectation that anybody will get to sleep alone. The last two girls' trips, we've been lucky in the sense that they've had like both of those airbnbs had bunk bedrooms Mm. so four girls got their own bed and then girls that i knew knew each other that were comfortable with each other got to like sleep in the same bed like on a some jazz or sisters and stuff like that um and in savannah sierra and connor were sisters reese and kaylee were very close so they shared beds but um i mean sometimes it's unavoidable like puerto rico i didn't mind um it was me yeah of course you didn't fucking mind but like anyone else i'm just and so like we're going to portugal yes and um and there's a lot of girls and it's a long time that we're there it's not like it's a week three yeah. nights and so i was like i i need no room no that i get because it's like a week and you don't know everybody going on that trip that's different yeah um i feel like vermont we did a good job though everybody that was in a bed with somebody knew the person mm-hmm. um except for may and kaylee obviously Um, but yeah, no, I feel like that's kind of sometimes unavoidable, especially like if you want to travel like smart and on a budget and things like that. So I don't know how that'll play out on other trips for sure. But on the note, since, I mean, we've got a little bit of time left, um, not to get into a whole other story time, but tell me about your experience in Puerto Rico with me a little bit. So this was another girl's trip. This one was an actual, I guess, what were the, the differences in your feelings towards, like, when I ran the girls' trip for Vermont, which was very friend-driven and relaxed, to Puerto Rico, where it was more of a formal trip for me? I like the bigger group. Okay. Noted. Sometimes that scares me. It's intimidating, for sure. But I can see that, yes. Um, it gives you more personalities to mix with. Puerto Rico, I felt like it was fun because we did a lot of excursions. I like your night kayaking. That was yeah, fun. Yeah, that was fun. Um, and... We ate at really good restaurants. They were, Puerto Rico, I, like, it was a little pricey, but I think it was worth it. Because, like, yeah. we stayed at a really nice boutique hotel. The we, pool and the bar up there were yeah. gorgeous. And we had a view of the water, too. Mm-hmm. Um, Private tubs. Yeah. Outdoor out, tubs. Outside tubs. The shower was really nice. It was relaxing, and it was only a weekend trip. Um, I will say... The difference from Vermont to Puerto Rico was in Vermont, everyone was super go with the flow. And everyone was kind of like, okay, like if this group wants to do this, they can do that. Everyone, we actually, we missed the part about Vermont. What part? When we almost got tattoos. 
Everybody wanted to get matching tattoos. And none of no us. No one could agree. No one could agree, but May and Mia ended up getting matching tattoos. Yeah, they, and they still have theirs. Or Canada, Canadian leaves. Well, and that's, I give them shit all the time and I gotta stop because it's mean of us. But they got, like, maple leaves or, like, leaves, fall leaves to commemorate, like, Vermont. Well, but they look like Canadian maple leaves. Still close to Canada. <laughs> still. <laughs> They're um, Canadian maple leaves. Okay, so, yeah. So, everyone in Vermont... Even if it was, like, just two people going on their own to, like, do something or, you know, even when we were in New York City, Anais was like, hey, I'm going to go meet up with my family. She went by herself. It was fine. Puerto Rico. Kaylee met up with her brother before she met up with us in New York. And it was just kind of like, you know, obviously we're here to, like, do group things, but, like, we don't have to do that either. Um, Puerto Rico, I would say there was a little sour patch on the trip. Yeah, she definitely, and that's the thing, is, like, at least to tame personalities, and I do dive into this in Paris, because that was, like, a lot of my Paris issues, was mix and match personalities that aren't on the same page spending-wise, or aren't on the same page, like, experience-wise. Yeah. I definitely have fine-tuned it a lot better in these last couple of trips that I've had, the last three, but I will say on a Puerto Rico trip, like, it was smaller, it was four, because this was another international trip, it was my first one after Paris, I guess it's not international, it's American, um, ground, but... Yeah, and Joe Biden is the president there. (laughs) Well, I'll let you tell that story at the end of this, but, um, it's definitely, it's still, it felt like a little bit more track, like, although it wasn't out of the country, it felt out of the country, because of where you're going, you're on an island, it's a different culture, they speak Spanish, like, it's just, it, it felt out of the country, so I made it smaller for that reason, because I took eight to Paris, and that was a nightmare, so I was like, let's do half, let's do four, then next time I do an international, I'll work up to six, like, I was working my way up, and in hindsight, I can see how four is almost no good, because I feel like the one little, the girl that was kind of a sourpuss on that one, sourpuss, she just didn't want to participate in, like, what was planned. She wanted to walk around do her own thing. She had a lot of things to say about, like, her dietary needs and stuff like that, which is totally fine. I also feel like you make PowerPoints for every trip. Yes. When you, before you even pay, you look at the PowerPoint. And usually what is on the PowerPoint is what we're doing, unless the whole group decides when we get there, like, hey, we should do this instead of this. Which is totally Um, fine. I don't think she looked at the PowerPoint. I think she was, like... She admitted to not looking at the PowerPoint. Like, girls trip, and then, like, we do something, and she'd be like, oh, we're doing that. Like, I think she needed an excuse to go there and not go by herself, um, personally, she admitted openly at one of the dinners, I don't know if you remember, that she didn't read the PowerPoint. Like, she made it, like, a jokey thing. She's like, I'm just here for the ride. I didn't even read the PowerPoint. And, like, I I agree. So I think I almost, like, I don't want to quiz people on the PowerPoint before they get on the trip, but I almost need to be like, hey, like, remember, like, this, this, and this. I've been better in group chats since, too, like, for Savannah and for some of my other trips. I've been like, hey, don't forget, this is the outline of what we're doing this week. Yeah. Bring, I've made it an outfit then. I'm like, don't forget to bring XYZ, 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 because we had the same problem in France where it, I don't think that the girl didn't read the PowerPoint. She fully did. She just was a brat and she was an 18 year old little, little bitch face. But um, she lost her mind because we were going on a hike and she's like, well, I didn't bring tennis shoes. I was like, did you read the fucking PowerPoint? We're going on a hike. Don't be stupid. <laughs> I'm also, like, and I don't, obviously not everyone is like this, but if I'm going on vacation, I'm, I'm a spender. I'm going to spend. So that's, I talk about it a lot again, and not to, like, keep referring to it, but, like, you're going to hear all of these angles and conversations is there, I gear a trip, and I need to do a better job of, and I have since, because all of this was 2022 fall Mm -hmm. last year, so we're a full year past, but For most of us, when we're going on these trips, we're prepared to spend a certain amount. When it's a budget trip, I make it known it's a budget trip. Fort Lauderdale, budget trip. We didn't spend hardly any money in Fort Lauderdale. It was hanging at home. We had a private yoga experience that we paid very minimal for. We did dinners at home. That was a budget trip, and I can advertise those as such. But when you're going out of the country, like if you're going to Paris and you're coming from the U.S., that's a luxury trip. Yeah. When you're like going to Puerto Rico, which is an island, and you have this list of really nice reservations, that's a luxury trip. Yeah. Something like Vermont was less lux- luxury. I feel like we definitely, there was, I think that that's the other thing too about American trips. You can kind of be more picky and choosy on like what you order on the menu. Are you going to have a lot to drink? Like you make your own experience and your own payment. But when you're out of the country, just assume it's a luxury trip. 
I spent like more what? in Vermont. Well, obviously we were there a little bit longer, but then I did in Puerto Rico. Yes, because we were there like five days instead of two or three. And we drank like motherfuckers. Yeah. We didn't do that in Puerto Rico. And, you know, when I eat out, especially on vacation, I'm getting everything I want. Well, and even in Puerto Rico, we did a night in too. Remember we ordered Carabas? Yes. Or Olive Garden. One, One of them. Two. Yeah. One of two. So, like, so yes, of course, but you spent a little less. I did. Rico. So, that was another thing about Puerto Rico that I wasn't a fan of. We planned to do this in sweet dinner thing. Yes. And you made it known, like, it's a little bit more pricey. You did put it on the PowerPoint if we want to do it, but it'd be like an extra 150 I think. Yeah. It was a very, very fine dining experience, like three yeah. or four course wine pairings and, and, and I made it optional terrace yes. um so that's something I really wanted to do but we couldn't do it unless everyone wanted to do it and so there was one person that didn't want to do it and I was like fuck I really like I um, I think next time maybe that's something where I um make that as like a it's a deter- predetermined thing of like this is what we're doing if you can't afford that please don't sign up for this trip but I did make that because I do like, and if you've been on my trips, you know this, or if you've even talked to me about a trip, you know this. I make them very experiential in the fact that it's interactive and you do really get to pick a lot of what we do. I provide options. I go with group majority. Most of the time, everybody agrees. Also, like you were talking about in Fort Lauderdale, like if you're, we're out to dinner or something and we are walking home and we see somewhere that we want to go, we can go there. Yes. It's very, it's very make your own trip, but have... I, I say it in the, or I said it in our last episode, not the Paris one, but I, it's very, I am not your tour guide. I'm more of just like a guide to get you there. Like we get there when we're there, I am part of your group. I'm experiencing it with you, but I'm still here to make final end all being decisions because somebody has to lead a team. It's just, that's always how it is. It could be a group of girls going to Portugal for my bachelorette and some, one of you is going to have to step up and be team leader. Like that's yeah. just how that works. There's a lot of us going too. So There's I just, 12 of us. Yeah. Yeah. It's going to be, that'll be my biggest out of the country. That'll be my biggest girls trip ever. Not that it's like related to Sage at all, but like yeah. this will be the most girls I've ever traveled with. I think it obviously should be easy because it's a bunch of my friends coming together to celebrate me. And I think we've all traveled before. So everybody's traveled before, but Shauna was okay. So Shauna's been out of the country, but she's never been to Europe because Shauna was on my Tulum trip. She was on the first ever stage trip I ever did is how I met Shauna. That's so, funny. so Shauna's going to Portugal, but she's never been to Europe. Okay. Um, Bree's been to Mexico, but I don't believe she's ever been to Europe. Anais has never been out of the country. Who else? There's like another person that hasn't been out of the country. I'm spacing on who it is. There's one more person that, like, hasn't been out of the country. Maybe, well, Bree's been to Mexico. I don't know. There's some people that are getting, like, this fresh experience and that have definitely not crossed over that side, so. I mean, I've never been to Portugal, so that's exciting. But, like, I'm excited. So, even who you're flying with, Rachel, my yeah. friend from college, she went to Greece with me when I was in my Greece era. So, like, I know she travels really well. Brooke yeah. has done fan life stuff with me. Like, you and I have traveled together a billion times. Like, I... I've traveled with basically everybody in that group except for like one person. So I feel safest on an airplane. <laughs> like that was my safe place. <laughs> love an airplane. So it'll be an interesting experience with 12 girls for sure, but I don't feel like it should be a problem because also there's nothing like having to prioritize somebody because it's their special moment. People don't yeah. cause drama when it's a special moment, mm-hmm. you know? So like I can't imagine on a bachelorette being the person that causes drama. That being said, like I've been on a bachelorette and I'm guilty of being like on somebody's bachelorette before and not being in the happiest mood I could have been. And I know it showed. So like, hopefully, I mean, those things happen. I mean, it happened. I'm not proud of like who I was in that moment, but also like emotions are emotions. You can't help them. Yeah. So like, I can only hope that everybody's super excited to be there and happy to be there and that there are no hookups, but like those things happen just like on a girl's I don't like knowing the majority of the people going on. None of us are like drama starters. I think we're just there for a good time. Everybody's a good time. Yeah. Everybody's on the same time. It's everybody's on the same playing field of like, and and by same playing field, I don't mean like craziness, partiness, drunk levels, personalities. Everybody's on the same level that we can all vibrate on the same plane, but be at different points. You could be 50 shots deep and 
my friend Brooke could be like two shots deep, but she's still gonna vibe with you on that same level. Like it's just she'll she will give you her shoes if you're too drunk to walk in your shoes. She does. <laughs> she will do that. Also, I put Brooke as the mom role, and that's absolutely not the case because Brooke in college was the wildest human being ever. It's she's the mom until she's not, and when yeah. she's not, she's not like <laughs> on another level. But I mean, I hope you can get her to that point. I feel like if anybody can get her to that point, you could because like. It would crack me up. I love them, but... And a bunch of us are on the flight from Brussels to Portugal. It's, like, all of us except for two. It's yeah. just on East and Brie because they're coming a little late. So there's ten of us. There's ten of us. It's going to be... I, I need us all to sit together. We need to, like, basically ask people if they'll move. We need to look at our seats and yeah. see where we're at. Maybe change our seats. Because it's only, what, two-hour flight? Yeah. Yeah. But, like, we might as well start drinking at that point. Yeah. Right? Uh, duh. <laughs> We've got lots planned for that. I'm sure that I'll have to make a season or a season, a month of episodes just about Portugal. I feel like I could. I feel like I could definitely do that. Yeah. We could break down like the aesthetics of it. I could do one episode on themes. I could do one episode on the girls, funny stories. Like, yeah, definitely going to workshop that. But um, yeah, okay. Then this is, I guess, my last question for you on girls trips. Since this is about travel, not just silly stories. What is will you be attending another girls trip yeah depending where (laughs) so that was my next question what trip would you like Mm. to see the most you can give me one in country and one out of country in country i would like to see a west coast ski trip interesting okay um out of country oof that's really interesting you said that That's because I've got some news. I would maybe Ireland or Germany. Okay. Um, so not to and I promise you this was not planned. She was not coached. I did not ask her. No, I was question. not coached. I think no better time than to announce right now. Are you announcing a girls' trip? I'm gonna pee myself. My butthole's clenched. I'm <laughs> I'm announcing okay. a couple's trip okay. this December, and it is a ski trip, and that is all I'm going to give you guys. So we have to bring men? <laughs> She's not excited anymore. I have been, for everybody else who's peeing their pants at home and <laughs> clenching their buttholes, <laughs> um, I have been mer- mercifully, mercifullessly, huh? it's such a hard word, Who? mercilessly, <laughs> <laughs> I have been begged begged for couples trips um and i've finally decided that we're going to test one out this december it will be um at a ski up ski in resort or not resort it's an airbnb where um i'm not going to say that yet that'll be a surprise okay it's absolutely stunning um and it will be a couple's trip i believe there will be 16 spots i'm actually pissed because my entire december is filled mm, that's a bummer because this is the ski trip is where you would thrive do you have to do it in december we'll chat we'll chat i mean my january is full clearly but <laughs> no just move some things <laughs> just don't get married don't go on your honeymoon don't do that what um but yes that is in the works um we also are starting a new system where i'm basically going to try and plan all of the 2024 girls trips out in advance this year so people can really like dive and do I want to do this one I want to do that one so people can really pinpoint what they want um and then there still will be the like two or three bonus trips throughout the year that I don't announce prior you know one thing that's on my bucket list is to go and I obviously not every girl's gonna relate to this I don't know if you will or not but I want to go to the f1 grand prix in monaco so we were there Really? During our Paris trip. Can you not? Could not even enjoy it. It's not like we went and did any of the Paris things, but I saw the cars and everything like that. Um, I already know exactly what seats I want, where, how much they cost, how much the hotel costs. I'll never forget how mad I made my ex because that was his, like, life goal dream. And I went on that trip without him and made it a girl's trip. And he was, he's, like, a huge car guy. Like, huge. And I remember I posted on my Snapchat an immediate response. He was like... Yeah. Oh, so I see you finally got there on your own. Blah, blah, blah. Like, lost his mind. I remember, like, screenshotting and sending it to Kyle, and I was like, LOL. Also, something we both want to do, uh, Yacht Week. Yacht Week is high on my list. 
yeah. I feel like that's something that I don't want to necessarily make a girl's trip because I want to like experience that with, with like our couples and our friends. What you could do is like either couples or you know your friends, and you could get your own yacht. That would be my goal. Yeah, that's how I would do yacht week. I've also always said I won't do yacht week until I feel like financially I can just go fucking nuts. Because I don't want to, like, be... Well, my friends did Yacht Week. They said they only spent, like, three or four grand. Yeah, but even then, like, A, that still feels expensive to me. Because I'm a budget traveler. It's and like two B, months of rent. But that feels expensive to me. <laughs> I'm a budget traveler. I do really well. Have a yacht with a private chef and a stew and a captain? I want to spend, like, ten grand on it. Okay. I want like well, the biggest yacht known to mankind. They, in Butler's. they only have for that's for yacht week specifically. They only have the specific kind of yacht. Oh, the catamarans? Yeah. I want a real yacht. But oh, you want like a below deck yacht? Like I want to rent a yacht. Like a below deck. Yacht. Yes. Okay. Like I don't want a catamaran. Okay, that's gonna we're, that's gonna be like a hundred grand. <laughs> we're doing a cat. Well, yeah, but if you split it with everybody and there's ten people and you go ten grand each, but then yeah. Okay. Don't forget the tip. You got to tip like 25. That's fine. We're rich at this point. That's why I'm saying we're waiting. We're waiting till we're rich. Uh, Let's just take out Amexes and just... Fuck it. <laughs> My parents are going to kill me. Um, no, we're doing a catamaran we in are. Portugal. We are. I'm excited about that. I believe it's a catamaran. I need to get stuff so I don't get seasick. Dramamine? Nair. Nair? Nair? Nair, nair, nair. Nair? Well... Do you have anything else to add to this episode except for how you just shit on my fucking couple's trip? I did not shit on your couple's trip. She just doesn't want to take her husband. I. <laughs> Matthew! I want you to go, but I literally have every weekend in December filled. We'll have a chat after this episode. The fans she's, don't need to hear this. She's going to bully me into going. She's going. But I. She's a ski can. queen. She is a ski I queen. I know one of my trips in December is to ski. You're going to Colorado. Cancel it. <laughs> Anyways, thank you guys so much for turn, tuning a little, tuning in. Bye. Um, hopefully the Paris episode will be fixed for next week. If it's not, um, basically just know that I've died in a hole and I'm crying. Okay, thanks. Love you. Bye.